This is a one minute chart of the spiders or the SPY for Wednesday, November 15, 2023. Another quick daily recap. Of nine levels identified and put on the chart this morning, two were hit and produced trades. And these horizontal lines show the levels that the spiders came into and which triggered trades into E mini futures. The first level that price came into wasn't primed to activate a trade in the E minis until after 9 45 a.m. So this means the trade happened here. On the short side, as the spiders came up into this 450.33 level at about 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. But this initial trade was a fumble because price did not react enough in the other direction to provide a base hit and normally would have been reversed at a price and time that I look for as indication that the original design of the trade isn't working. But the next level at 451.13 came into play before that indication happened. So instead of a reversal, the rule is to go short again at the next level, averaging in the position between the two levels. So it wasn't easy to hold on to this position because it stayed out of the money for a while and was dangerously close to the new line in the sand where this trade would have been wrong. And I started to worry I was going to have a TKO on my, TKO on my hands, but price never closed above that line in the sand on the time frames I was looking for. And as you can see, they found resistance eventually enough to fall away, providing a base hit on this combined position. And in my case, I had four ES contracts in play for the base hit. Here is a tracking log with Wednesday's trades quantified. This is the fumble at 450.33, which when the next short trade was averaged in at the level at 451.13, they eventually produced uh, just a single base hit, but with the total positions. Like I said, in my case, I had four because it was two in each trade. Very similar trade to a couple, three days ago, Friday the 10th. Sometimes these levels don't work out and there could be large losses in cases like this, but they don't happen all that often. You can keep an eye on this profit and loss percentage over time. These are daily profit and loss percentages as more history gets recreated behind the scenes with more daily trades analyzed using these daily levels. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.